welcome back uh, today's topic is uh, how to design a push down automata for the language l equals to a power 3 b power n c power n such that n is greater than or equals to 0 this is mo this is most important n is greater than or equals to 0 we have to first design what are the strings that are formed over this language so l equals to if i take n equals to 0 so there is no b's and there is no c's only 3 s only then if i take n equals to 1 there is 1 b 1 c only that is triple a single b single c only if i take n equals to 2 the string is triple a double b double c if i take n equals to 3 the string is triple a triple b triple c and so on so for this language we have to design the push down automata by writing its transitions and drawing the graphical notations so first uh, discuss about the logic if string can be any form there are three a's definitely exist in any string so i taken possible string is triple a double b double c the logic is first read a on initial state q naught don't do any push operation or write operation just read and ignore i mean like no operation on this stack change from q0 to q1 why i am changing from q0 to q1 means i have to ensure that only one a is read the next symbol is a read a don't do any push operation or pop operation on this stack just simply change from q1 to q2 state why I am changing from Q1 to Q2 straight, meaning that a Q2 state ensure that only two A's are read. Then read next A, change to the next state without doing any operation on the stack. Now the state is Q3. So on state Q3, in read B, read all e B's into the stack. So read B, change to the new state and add B onto the stack. Now B. Then now on Q4 set you read all remaining bees. How many bees? Even 500 bees are there. Maybe 20 bees are there. All read all bees on the same state only. You no need to go for a new states again. Okay. Then Q4 read B. Then push B onto the stack. Remains on the same state. So B. Now we are in Q4 state. Now in Q4 state. See next input symbol is C. Now compare C with the top of the stack is B. See the logic is there is equal number of B's followed by equal number of C's. See for every C you try to pop one B from the stack so that we can make a stack is empty or else we can move to the final state and hence we can say the language is accepted. So input symbol is C pop B from the stack by changing to the new state that is Q5 then remove B from the stack. Then what is next input symbol is C and top of the stack is B. So by mapping B with C, pop B from the stack. Then next input symbol is no input symbol. So it is epsilon. So epsilon. Now Q5 epsilon top of the stack is Z0. Move to the final state. Halt the mission. This is the logic. For this logic, I will first write the transition. Then we will draw the graphical notation. The first transition is state is Q0 input symbol is a top of the stack is z naught that is equals to as for logic we are not doing any push and pop operation just we are ignoring reading a symbol by changing to the new state q1 why we are changing to the new state q1 is we have to ensure that only one a is read then present state is q1 then read next a that is equals to I am simply changing to the state q2 without doing any operation why I am changing state q2 means on state q2 we can ensure that only three a's are read then after q2 we uh, we definitely expect one more a that is I mean q2 a z naught equals to q3 Z0. So without doing either push or pop operation, I'm simply moving to the state Q3. Now present state is Q3. 
so what i'm sure q3 is so all three a's are real must and should every string has the three a's then now at this point if you assume n equals to zero meaning that if n equals to zero means there is no b's there is no c's only a's are there so from this point we can move to the final state directly to accept the final state so how we can return this new transition is q3 so n equals to 0 means only s are there after s what is the input symbol epsilon so epsilon top of the stack is z naught only so z naught equals to i can say it is q f comma z naught so i am moving to the final state just halt the mission because what is the reason is n equals to 0 then let's assume n equals to 1 or 2 so here example we assume that n equals to 2 there is 2 b's followed by 2 c's you know the logic read every b onto the stack and uh, for every c map b map a symbol on the top of the stack with b do the pop operation so that if c's are exhausted definitely b's in the stack also exhausted so that we can move to the final state let me write the transitions so present state is q3 after q3 we can expect input symbol is b only not possible to read c immediately so b top of the stack is z naught so do push operation onto this uh, adding b onto the stack by changing to the new state because that we have to ensure that on state q3 all a's reading are completed now we are reading the b so that's why i'm moving to the state q4 q4 b z naught then let's assume there is one more b exist so how we can return this is transition of q4 b so first b is read on q3 state so it is in top of the stack now see like z naught then b one b is already there so how we return so top of the stack is b because of this now b equals to so we are going to add b onto the stack remains on the same state that is equals to q4 b b if there is one more b or else two b's or else 10 b's read all b's in the q4 state only that's the that is the use of this transition you can like self loop in the graphical notation then let's assume that all b's are exhausted meaning that all b's are read onto the stack now let's assume c's are starting so present state is q4 input symbol is c if input symbol is c definitely what is top of the stack b only so top of the stack is b let's say b so q4 comma c comma b so what we are doing is just map c with b do the pop operation so move to the one new state because i have to show difference in the configuration show that on q5 state we are doing the pop operation q5 comma epsilon let's assume that there is one more c is exist if one more c exist in the input tape definitely there is one more b exists in the top of the stack so transition of q5 c top of the stack is b that is equals to q5 comma epsilon so remains on the same state do the pop operation if there is one more c exist then one more b exists in the top of the stack if there is uh, two c's are remaining in the input tape then definitely two b's are existing the stack so all these comments can be written in this uh, transition only no need to write the separate transitions okay let's assume that all c's are completed so which state we are in q5 state so all c's are completed means what is meaning that input sim input tape is empty epsilon then if all c's are completed see this all b's are also exhausted all b's are also removed from the stack so what is st stack symbol is z naught so z naught equals to so now move to the final state as i told you in the logic move to the final state so q5 don't do any operation on the stack this is exactly indication of acceptance by final state now draw the graphical notation as you know first initial state is q0 starting state i mean first input symbol is a top of the stack is z0 we are simply moving to the new state q1 without doing any operation that's why it is z0 then next input symbol is also a this is three a's are common in every string so top of the stack is z0 we are simply not doing any operation just we are moving to the new state q2 so 
this is completed this is completed then next input symbol is also a top of the stack is z not not doing any operation on the stack that's why z not only moving to the next state q3 so this is also completed then from q3 if no b's no c's we are directly moving to the final state taking final state is uh, let's say qf from moving from this to this one so input tape is empty top of the stack is z not so not doing any operation on the stack z not so this is also completed then so q3 on state q3 we are reading the b's so q3 with input symbol is b top of the stack is z not so we are adding b onto the stack so it how we written it is b z not this is also completed then on q4 only remaining all b's we are reading so it is the self loop how we written the self loop is b top of the stack is b I mean input symbol is b top of the stack is b just simply adding b onto the stack double b so this is also completed then on q4 so after reading all this definitely we have c so on c top of the stack is so b already pushed right so top of the stack is b right so b simply we are doing the pop operation by changing to the new state q5 then on q5 we can read one more c definitely if you are reading one more c means at top of the stack is have one more b so do the pop up pressing remains on the same state so we can repeat this loop so this is on c top of the stack is b simply doing the pop operation then so meaning that in q5 state let's assume all c's are adjusted meaning that all b's are popped from the stack so input symbol is empty so q5 m q5 input is a empty and top of the stack is z not we are simply moving to the final state without doing any operation final state we reach so uh, let me tell you this point of this is the acceptance by final state if i want to make this design also suitable to the acceptance by empty stack is just we need to add only one transition that is for this we are going to write a transition of q5 comma epsilon comma z not equals to remains on the same state by removing element from the stack so remains on the same state q5 what is element is there z not remove that by doing pop operation epsilon so now we can say this is acceptance by empty stack see i am not adding this transition to this figure if i add this to this figure is going to be non deterministic nature basically i am drawing the deterministic nature of the push down automata only so please remember while solving your problem either they ask you for acceptance final state or acceptance by empty stack based on that you write the transitions that is enough